hello students welcome back to the sixth video of this playlist so in this video uh, we will be solving question number six from the most recent past paper of pure mathematics 2 which is october 2024 p2 paper so let's see uh, what's the question number six from this recent paper is about okay so here you go you can see the question number six on the screen so basically the concepts behind question number six it's from uh, exponentials and logarithm uh, that has been discussed in chapter number three of your pure mathematics 2 textbook so in order to be able to solve this question definitely you should have idea about the logarithmic and exponential operations like how to solve logarithmic and exponential equations and also we need to have some concepts from the first chapter of your pure mathematics 2 textbook which is algebraic methods so let's get started with question number five question number six fine so uh, using the laws of logarithms solve log base 4 12 minus twice of x equals 2 plus 2 log base 4 x plus 1 so we need to solve this logarithmic equation so at first what we can do look you have base log, log with base 4 on the right side and on the left hand side right so take this to the left side so what you will get log 4 12 minus twice of x okay minus 2 okay uh, 2 log base 4 x plus 1 it can be written as log use the power rule to take the coefficient to the power okay this is equals 2 now uh, base both the base both bo both the logs has what base 4 right so and they have subtraction between them so in that case take log 4 common and then since they are in subtraction so we can make them what to divide okay so x plus 1 whole squared fine this is equals to 2 fine so what's next we will use this formula if log a n equals to x then a to the power x equals to n okay so a is what the base 4 to the power x is what 2 right in place of x it is what 2 so 4 square is what 16 so 12 minus twice of x over x minus x plus 1 whole squared is what uh, x squared plus 2ab plus what b squared okay this is equals to 4 squared a to the power x so 4 squared is what 16 isn't it now cross multiply if you do cross multiplication what you will get 12 minus twice of x equals to 16 x squared plus 32x plus what 16 okay now take all the terms on the same side so what you will get 16x squared plus 32x plus 2x that would give you 34x plus 16 minus 12 that would give you plus 4 equals to what 0 now divide both sides by 2 you will get 8x squared plus 17x plus what 2 equals what 0 now middle term how we can middle term 8x squared 17x there and 2 times 8 it is what 16 so plus 16x plus x plus 2 equals to what 0 now what we can do we can take 8x common so you'll get x plus 2 and then from there you can take plus 1 common you will get x plus 2 so x plus 2 is common so either x equals to negative 2 or x equals to what negative 1 over 8 fine so either x equals to negative 2 or x equals to what negative 1 over 8 now which one to pick for the final answer will you pick both two no it depends what it depends on it depends on the bracket of the log okay you need to see there you need to put both the what uh, both the values in within the bracket and check out 
whether it gives a negative value within the bracket or not. If it, if it gives negative value, that means for that, for that x, this equation will become undefined. Okay, this equation will become what? Undefined. So we will ignore that x value. So which one will give us negative value within the bracket? Negative 2. How, how, do, how did you understand? Look. Look at the right hand side. If you put negative 2 here, x equals to negative 2, you are getting negative 1, right? So log 4, base 4, negative 1, you can use your calculator and like try to find out the value. It will give un undefined. So because logarithm has no negative domain, okay? So the final answer should be what? So x would be equal to negative 1 over 8 that's the final answer so the solution to the given logarithmic equation is negative 1 over 8 and that's what question number 6 has asked for